Do you want to learn how to create a WordPress website in under 10 minutes? If the answer is yes, you came to the right place. Because in this video tutorial, I will show you how you can easily create your own website in a few simple steps. The best part is that you don't need any coding experience or huge investments. And I can guarantee you that, that after this video, you will be able to create your own WordPress website without any issues. So without further ado, let's jump into creating your WordPress website. All right, so first things first, for your WordPress website, you're going to need hosting. And for this, I'm going to use hostinger.com. So once you're here, you want to scroll down until you see all available shared hosting plans. For this tutorial, I'm going to use premium shared hosting plan because with this plan, we're going to get unlimited number of websites. It's going to be very useful in the future if you will decide to host multiple projects or websites using this hosting. As well, you will get unlimited email accounts, bandwidth, and besides that, you will get free SSL certificate with the domain name. So let's add it to cart. From here, you will have to select a package. So as you can see, we have one month package, 12 months and so on. So I'm gonna use 12 months package. And as you can see yourself, it's going to cost me $5.99 per month. All right, so the last thing which we have to do is select a domain name. So just enter this domain name right here and we will check if it's available. I highly recommend you to select .com because it's the most popular and the most recognizable. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna choose online. Let's click search and let's see if this domain name is available. All right, perfect. This domain name is available and it was added to our shopping cart. The next thing which is quite important, you want to select this option. By selecting this option, you will hide your personal information of your domain name. So it's quite important and it's just gonna cost you $5 per year. All right, let's go to the checkout section and and the next thing which we can do is let's add a coupon code. Let's use a coupon code HA10 to get 10% discount off your hosting. Let's click apply. All right, so from here, the checkout procedure is pretty much the standard one. So I'm just gonna skip to the next part of this tutorial. Once you finish the checkout and you log into your hosting your account in the home section, you should see something like this. So let's start by setting up our domain name. Let's click setup right here. And here you will have to enter your information such as your name, your last name, address, city, and so on. So just do that. Once you have finished doing this, just click setup. So the next thing which we have to do is set up our hosting. So let's click setup right here. Let's click start now. Let's choose a domain name. Let's click select. Let's click build a new website and let's select WordPress. Here you will have to create an account for your WordPress website. You will use this email address and password to log into your dashboard of WordPress. So once you have added the password, click continue. And right here, let's select a template for our website. If you want, you can click right here to show more. And here you will see all available templates. Let's click show more. As you can see, we have a lot of different templates available for our website. I guess I'm gonna choose this template. Just click select. And all you have to do is just click finish setup. It might take a couple of minutes until the setup is complete. All right, perfect. It says our website is ready. But before we go and check our website, we have to install SSL certificate. So let's click manage site. As you can see right here at the top, it says the main status not pointing to our name servers. So don't worry about that. It might take about a couple of hours until this domain name starts pointing to our hosting. So just wait a little bit of time, refresh this page and the message should disappear. All right, after you have waited some time and you refresh this page, you shouldn't see this message anymore. That means we can install SSL certificate. So let's scroll down and let's select SSL. All right, let's click setup and let's click activate. Now all we have to do is just click install. All right, SSL certificate was installed successfully and now we can visit our website. All right, as you can see, this is how our website looks now and it looks quite good, but it has a lot of demo content which might not be useful for our website. So we can change anything we want. So first of all, we have to log into our WordPress dashboard and to do this, you want to go to your URL and add slash WP dash admin. Click enter and here you'll have to enter the credentials which we created previously to log into our WordPress WordPress website. You can select remember me and click login. All right. So the very first thing which we can do is we can go to the home page. Let's go right here. Let's click visit site. And as you can see here in the top navigation menu, we have five different pages. So we can identify which pages we would like to keep and which pages we would like to delete or rename. So as you can see, we have a home page. So I'm going to keep a home page. I'm going to keep about me page. I'm just going to change it. I will keep courses and I will change get fit page to contact us. 
us because I believe this page is meant for contacting us. Yeah, that's correct. So yeah, I'm gonna change this page to contact us and I'm gonna delete the last page publications. And I guess I will add another page which is going to be a blog. Here our visitors will be able to check our blog. All right, so let's start changing the pages. Let's go to the dashboard and all settings related to pages are done right here. Let's select all pages. And as you can see, here we have the list of all available pages. So we can change about me. Let's click quick edit and let's change it to contact us. Once you have finished doing this, click update and let's decide which pages we are not going to use. So obviously we are not going to use sample page. We can put it to the trash and we can do the same with this page. So just like that, I'm going to rename some of the other pages. All right. So I just finished renaming all the pages and now we can add another page, which will be named blog and it will be used to display our blog post. So let's add a title. Let's name it blog. Once you have done this, let's click publish. Let's click publish. And now we can go back to the dashboard. All right. So as you can see, now we have all the pages which we need. So the next thing which we should do is we have to set this blog page to display our blog post. So to do this, you want to go to the settings section and let's select reading. All right. So in this section, as you can see, our homepage is set to display page called home and for post page, let's select blog and let's click save changes. So since we are in the settings section, we can do another very important setting, which is right here, permalinks and let's select to show post name. This is quite important for SEO. So let's click save changes. So basically, yeah, we are almost done with pages, but now we have to do some adjustments in menus. Let's go to appearance. Let's click menus. And here, as you can see, since we deleted publication page, it says that it's invalid. So we have to delete it. Let's click remove and we have to add our blog page. So to do this, let's click view all. Let's select blog and let's click add to menu. All right, let's click save menu. And now we can go back to our homepage and let's see how everything looks. All right. So as you can see, now we have all the needed pages. We have about us, courses, contact us and a blog. Once we click on the blog here, we will be able to access our blog post. So once you add more blog posts, everything will be displayed right here. So the next thing which we can do, we can start customizing our theme. So to do this, you will have to click right here, customize and let's start by changing the logo. Let's click right here. Let's click edit and let's select change logo. Since I have already uploaded my logo, I'm just going to select from the media library. But if you you will need upload images or media files. You can do this by going right here, upload files. All right, so I'm just gonna select this logo. I'm gonna click crop image. All right, I believe it looks great. I can resize the logo to make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, everything looks great. So we can click publish. Of course, there are more customization options available. Don't be afraid to test everything yourself. This way you will learn how to use WordPress even better. All right, we can close this customization tab. And the next thing which we can do is we can start editing our homepage. So since all pages are built with Elementor, we will have to edit them using Elementor. So to edit this page, you will have to click right here, edit with Elementor. So let's start with the very first section. We can change the background image. So by clicking right here, we will be able to change this image. So let's click styles. And as you can see, this is the image which we have to change. Let's click choose image and I'm going to select this image. All right, I'm going to click insert. All right, it looks much better. And uh, right here, we can also do some changes to the text. So to edit text, all you have to do is just click on it. And this way you will be able to edit text. So just like that, I'm going to change the text. All right, as you can see, I finished doing the changes. I have changed the text. I removed some of the sections which might not be relevant to my website. And to remove a certain section, all we have to do is just click right here and you will delete it. So just like that, using Elementor, you can edit any page you want. Once you have finished doing changes, all you have to do is just click update. And from here, we can go back to our page. Let's click right here and let's click view page. All right, as you can see, this is how it looks now. It looks much better. And the next thing which we can do is we can start adding blog posts. So to do this, you want to go to your dashboard and all things related to blog posts are done right here. So before we add our first blog post, let's create some categories. Let's click categories. And as you can see, we have some categories already added. The ones which we are not going to use, we can delete them. And this other category and categorized, we can rename it. All right, using this section right here, let's add some new categories. 
click add new category and just like that you can add as many categories as you need all right so since we have added some categories we can add a new blog post let's click add new and all you have to do right here just give a title to your blog post and add content right here so that's exactly what i'm gonna do all right i just finished adding text to my blog post and as you can see this is how it's going to look and if you'll need to add any other elements to your blog post such as images lists or anything similar everything can be found right here once you click on this symbol you'll find all available elements just select the element you want to use and it will be added to your blog post all right so once you have finished with your blog post the next thing which you have to do is go to document section and let's select the category for this post all right i'm gonna select wordpress and let's set a featured image so since i have uploaded this image to my gallery i'm just gonna select this one and if you need to upload image you can do this by clicking right here all right i'm just gonna set the featured image and once you have finished with that you can click publish and let's click publish one more time and just like that we published our first blog post we can click to view this post and as you can see this is how our blog post is going to look so just like that we added our first blog post let's go to the home of our website so basically that's all this is how you can easily build your own wordpress website in a few simple steps so as you saw it yourself it is very easy it only took us about 10 minutes to create this website. Of course, building a website is just the beginning and the whole fun part starts now. Feel free to visit our SEO playlist for beginners to start increasing your website's influence on the web. If you learned something new today, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and good luck in your online journey.